everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video we are chatting fungal acne friendly lip products. Now, if you guys didn't see my last video, I talked to you guys about the lip rash that was ruining my life and how I suffered from itchy, scaly, flaky, burny lips for seven whole years and then how I finally solved that problem. Lipstick used to be such a struggle for me and I'm so happy because not only have I simplified my lipstick collection, but I have found products that I truly love and I no longer miss the old ones. I know when you first find out about fungal acne and you have to start getting rid of all your old favorite products, it can feel like all the fun has been sucked out of the beauty world for you. But today I have four amazing lip products that are not only well formulated, but they also come in every single color. So you will want for nothing and you will also have no more lip rash problems. And by the way, you guys, these formulas are all pretty much going to be matte. So stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna share how to make these matte formulas into glossy ones. So let's do this. Option one is the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love this stuff because it is easy to use. It doesn't dry down too fast. It comes in all the colors. There's literally 35 shades right now. Five of them are brand new and they add new colors all the time. And then on top of that, you can actually mix the shades together. I first encountered these last fall and I remember seeing a lip look that they had done in a magazine. It might've been Vogue. I'll put it up on the screen right now. And I instantly went out and the first two colors that I bought were this one, Pioneer, and this one, which is called Founder. Funnily enough, these claim to last for 16 hours and I can confirm because I wore these to a Halloween party where I ate, drank, danced, and swept the night away, never went to bed, and at least 16 hours later, these were still perfectly in place on my lips. By the way, that is the only night of the year that I didn't take my makeup off before bed. You should always take your makeup off before bed. It is super important. And if you need a good nighttime skincare routine, I'll link mine right now so you guys can share in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the shades that I currently have off camera, and then I will come back and show you which one is which. From the top down, we've got Poet, Self Starter, Creator, Originator, Foundry, let me make sure that's true, that's not gonna be right, no. Founder, and then Pioneer on the very bottom. And it's really funny because all the colors that I have are actually ones that I probably didn't realize I was doing this, but I could mix each of these shades together very easily, especially like the two purple tones would go good together to create a third shade or an ombre effect. Same for these two bottoms, I purposely bought them for that reason, and then the two top ones for the same reason. All right, you guys, so the second option that I have to share is Proud Flesh by Flesh Beauty. Now, this is from the brand Flesh, which is a Revlon-owned company, but they're much more on the indie spectrum, so think in terms of Glossier, which is a brand that I used to love using, but almost nothing that Glossier offers is fungal acne safe. So I am super happy to have come across Flesh and realized that there's multiple products within their line that are completely safe for people suffering from fungal acne. What I love about this particular product is that it goes on very thin and it's really buildable. It also has that very subtle hint of like menthol or mintiness to it that reminds me of a lot of other matte lipstick formulas, but it causes zero irritation. I'm currently wearing this one, which is the color Brazen, and this is my absolute favorite red lip. It's very much a blue undertone, so it's supposed to be universally flattering. I personally have a more neutral to olive skin tone, and I have gifted this product to all of my friends, and they have a variety of skin tones, and it looks so good on every single one of them. If you happen to own this product and you also agree with me, push that thumbs up button for me right now. If you disagree, you can give it a thumbs down if you want. And if you have no opinion, press the subscribe button right now because I have tons more opinions where this one came from. Guess who's back? Back again. Matt Inks back. Tell a friend. All right, so technically these are pretty much the same product as the first one that I shared. They are the Superstay Ink Crayons and I am absolutely obsessed with them. This product is the product that you can throw in your bag, you can put it on without a mirror, it's flattering, it also comes in tons of different shades, and it also has this nifty little sharpener built into it, so if your crayon gets dull at all, you can sharpen on the go and then pop it right back in there. It's so handy. Mine gets that pointed tip when I use it regularly, but um, thumbs up this video if we totally need to do our personality typing by the way that our lipstick turns out when we apply it. I always am fascinated by that kind of stuff. 
I have nothing bad to say about these. They're affordable, they're wonderful, and they are classified as a matte product, but truly they give more of a satin matte finish, which is a little bit more like a traditional lipstick, except you don't have to constantly reapply this because it dries down enough that it just lasts for a really long time. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below right now, how old were you the first time you witnessed your mom or whoever it was, that beauty person in your life, taking their lipstick out, applying it to their lips, and then putting it on their cheeks as a blush at the same time? Go tell me in the comments below because that's exactly what this product is. It is another one by Flesh. It's called Swipe Flesh and it is a lipstick compact with a nice mirror so it's super fancy. I actually use this one which is the color Jiggly as my every single day blush. Other things to love about this is that it is super pigmented, super buildable so you can use this as more of a stain or you can go full on and this is the only one out of all the products I've mentioned today that is not so matte. It has a much more satin finish like a traditional lipstick. The only con therefore about this lipstick is that you're definitely going to have to reapply it as the night goes on, but you really can't beat it. So as promised, I'm going to share two ways that you can make any of these matte formulations more glossy. For my first tip, I love to just toss a little bit of Vaseline over a lip product and kind of smear it around for a more satin glossy type of a finish. This product, if you didn't know, Vaseline or petroleum jelly is 100% safe for fungal acne. And I personally have always used Vaseline, but something that I have done recently is smear it all over my face after giving myself a chemical burn. And I probably put it on my entire face literally three times a day. After two days, that chemical burn had completely cleared up. And it's just so crazy because before I discovered fungal acne, I would have never smeared Vaseline all over my face because I would have thought that's just going to break me out, clog my pores, and ruin my skin for life. Fungal acne is just so funny that way because it goes against everything that we already know about beauty. It also just works in mysterious ways. I can't really explain it, guys. Now, if Vaseline isn't really your thing and you want something that's a little more glossy looking for real, I have scoured the internet and I have finally found a clear gloss that is not only fungal acne safe, but also highly rated in the beauty community. The caveat is I actually don't have that product on my person today. However, it is in the mail on the way to me. And if you guys are curious to know what the product is and how well it works, you should go follow me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar, the same handle as you have here. And when it comes, I'm going to be over there on my stories showing you guys the whole process and giving you my opinion of it. So be subscribed to me over there so that you'll actually know when it happens. Otherwise, you guys can shop all of the products that I mentioned today in the down bar below. And then if you would rather, you can shop all of these products and way more products on my blog, which is brooksbeadbazaar.com. In the meantime, I will see you guys on Instagram where I hang out every single day.